In this video, we're going to show you four ways to connect your Android phone to your TV. When you connect your phone to your TV, you can enjoy the TV you love from anywhere, potentially without a streaming device. We'll show you how to screencast your TV using apps themselves on your smartphone, then how to screencast your TV using a Google Chromecast dongle or a TV with Chromecast built in. Then we'll talk about using screen mirroring to screencast to your TV. And finally, we'll discuss how to connect your phone to your TV using a cable. Let's start with our first and easiest way to connect a phone to a smart TV, using an app's built-in functionality. We tested these phone-to-TV screencasting options with a Pixel 6a phone running Android 13 and two different Samsung TVs that are 6 and 8 years old. During our test, the only app that had functionality built in to establish a phone-to-TV connection with our particular phone and TVs was Netflix. Now the very first thing you need to do is make sure your phone and TV are connected to the same wireless network because that enables them to talk to each other and establish a phone to TV connection. Next, open Netflix on your phone and connect the casting button. This looks like a little box with a wireless signal in the bottom left corner and it's located in the top right of your phone screen within Netflix. Press that button and select a connected device. Here you can see that we have three options, our Roku streaming stick and two TVs. I'll click the Roku option here and when I do, you can see Netflix launch on the TV screen. If you don't have a Roku, no worries. You can just select your TV. It will either show up as a string of letters and numbers, like our second option here, or a name if you've given it one, which is our third option. Now let's look at a second way to screencast from an Android phone to a TV and that's through Chromecast or Chromecast built in. If you have a Chromecast dongle and it's connected to your TV, it will enable you to launch just about any streaming app from your phone to the TV set. With our Chromecast plugged into an HDMI port on our TV, we can go into various streaming apps and cast them to our TV. First, we'll launch Hulu, and we'll select a show that we were watching recently, Kindred. Then we'll try another app, HBO Max. Within each app, you'll see that casting button appear near the top right. Click it and then select the TV you want to cast to. We're going to select the top family room TV since that's the set we're using right now. Then we'll select a show and a little message will appear on the phone showing that it's casting to family room TV. If you don't have a Chromecast dongle but do have a TV with Chromecast built in, the steps and functionality are exactly the same. You just select Chromecast on the TV set and then open a streaming app on your phone and select the TV you want to cast to. The rules are similar. You need to make sure your phone and TV are connected to the same wireless network. Then, as Google explains, you just open a Chromecast enabled app and press that casting button to start casting. Thousands of apps are supported, including major streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Sling, HBO Max, Disney Plus, Paramount Plus, and so many more. Supported TVs include Sony, Sharp, Vizio, Toshiba, Philips, and more. What you won't see on that list are Samsung and LG TVs. We think that's because in Samsung's case at least, it already has a robust smart section built into it, complete with hundreds of channels and supported apps. We covered that in our Samsung TV Plus review video. Yeah, and it seems like they don't want Google's Chromecast built in to take away traffic from their own fast service. But maybe that functionality will be added down the road. We hope so because Chromecast built in is very convenient. We love how easy it is to cast shows from our phone to our hotel room TV when we travel and stay at a hotel that has Chromecast built in. Now let's move on to our third way to cast and that's through screen mirroring. What's nice about this option is that you don't need any apps to use it. You just need an Android phone and TV that are compatible with each other. The first step again is to make sure your phone and TV are connected to the same wireless network. You'll want to first go to the settings on your TV and select screen mirroring. On our Samsung TV, we click Settings, then Network Settings, then Screen Mirroring. Then open the settings on your phone and search for Screen Mirroring. It might be within your wireless display settings or your connection and sharing settings, depending on what kind of Android phone you have. Select Mirror Device to TV. If you don't see that option, then your device is not compatible with your TV. This was the case for us, unfortunately. Our phones cannot talk to our TVs, so we aren't able to use this option right now. However, there is a fourth option that will work for anyone and that's using a physical cable to connect your phone to your TV. Many phones can cast over a cable to a TV. Find a cable through a site like Amazon that enables a micro or mini USB to an HDMI connection. 
We like this one because it includes a 2-in-1 USB Type-C micro USB connection to an HDMI cable. It also includes a USB charging and power supply so that you can plug it in and power the device you're using to cast to your TV. It only costs about $16 and it includes both a USB-C connector and a micro USB. Between the two, this should work with most phones. Then you plug the HDMI connector into an HDMI port on your TV. Then choose that port as your source. Finally, choose an app on your phone, find something to watch. It'll start playing on your TV. It's pretty slick. As this video shows, there are so many ways to make streaming work for you. You don't even need a device in some cases. As long as you have a smartphone, you can watch your shows wherever and whenever you want. How do you prefer to screencast? Which of these ways works best for you? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.